today we're going to use our painting tools. Now, if you do not have paint at home, we'll talk about how you can make paint. But I should probably tell you, any dollar store or Walmart usually has a paint tray for less than $3. So, moving on. First of all, we're going to talk about the paint brushes. Paint brushes are used to move paint around. There are different parts of the brush that we should know. First, we have the bristles. Then we have the toe, which is the very tip of the brush. And we have the heel, which is where the bristles meet the handle. And then, of course, the handle is, uh, you know, what we hold on to when we paint. Now, to keep our paintbrushes nice and neat, there are a few things that we need to know. First, you need to rinse all the paint out of the hair. Always. We put a little soap on your hand and wash your hair till it's all clean. And sometimes you even have to do it again. So, after that, you style the hairdo you just kind of run your fingers over it and then lay it flat to dry. Now, if you have a cup, for instance, that you tend to put your brushes in, you should always put it bristles up, but laying it flat is usually best. Hello, everyone. My goal today is to simply show you how to make some paint from things that you probably already have in your cabinet. So today, uh, I am scooping out about four tablespoons of Arm and Hammer, Arm and Hammer, yeah, Arm and Hammer, baking soda, and I'm putting them in my little my little dish, and then I'm taking some vinegar. This is just some regular Heinz white vinegar, and I'm mixing it in. Now, I may need to uh, add a little bit more baking soda just for the right consistency. It should be, you know, you'll notice it'll fizz when you add it together. Uh, it'll look like a like an Alka-Seltzer tablet or something. So I have a little, little pre-cut egg carton, you know, just like four little, four little spots for eggs. Mine are clear. And so I'm going to fill each one of them up about halfway. And then, once they're all full, I'm just going to start adding some drops of food coloring. Now, you may want to experiment a little bit. Maybe you like your colors brighter. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to put the food coloring drops in there, and it's going to dye uh, the baking soda. And then when it's fully dry, it'll be like a little paint palette. So here we go. This is just regular food coloring from the store, what we use to color our cupcakes. And we're going to put, you know, you can experiment anywhere between four to seven drops. Um, I'm putting in the full maximum seven drops, but again, some people might think it's a bit dark. It'll lighten up a lot though when it dries, so, you know, you'll see. ahead and took one from the windowsill and you'll get to see what one looks like already dry as you can see they've lightened up but once you get it wet again you'll see the colors will get dark now I got out one of our simple color wheels this is the color wheel that uh, is for the kindergartners and as you can see I add a little bit of water to my paintbrush and dip it in the paint and just kind of rub it on the little paint cake and lo and behold check it out Homemade watercolors. Again, I'm pretty sure Crayola makes better watercolors than I do out of the stuff in my kitchen. But you know what? If you don't have it, then improvise. 